Hello everyone and I welcome you all to today's episode 2 of the educational book series. Now in this video we will be reviewing one of the most famous mathematics book set for JEE which is the Sengage Mathematics book set. Now you may not be knowing this book but you must have surely listened to it somewhere. This book is always in discussion among various famous YouTubers and teachers that whether you should solve this book or not. Now I am not going to give you any suggestions on that but after this video you will be able to decide whether you should buy it. Now without any further delay let's begin. Now as you can see this book set is specially recommended for JE advanced as mentioned in the book. It's not like that it's not relevant for mains but if someone is solving this book for JE he must be targeting advanced as this book is able to provide you that content. Now let's look into the cover page of the books and firstly you will see written JE advanced and the specific book name like this is vectors and 3d geometry by Mr. G. Tiwani sir who is the writer and author of this whole Sengage series. Then moving on it is mentioned that the book has JE mains 2023 questions integrated chapter wise then the question bank details like the number of questions and PYQs and with this book you will also get free redeem code for their Sengage JGL app for solutions and lectures of the topics. And and lastly you will get free DPP booklets with each of the books as mentioned that I will show you after reviewing the books. Now there are 5 books in this book set in which chapters are divided into separate books as per different branches of mathematics. So the first two books are the calculus and algebra one you can see on the screen. Now moving on to the third book which is the trigonometry one and the fourth book is the coordinate geometry and the fifth and the last book is the vectors and 3D geometry book. And let me tell you that the book set that I am reviewing is the 2023 edition and the difference between this and the latest edition is only of the book cover except that there is not much change. So now let's look inside the books and start with the algebra one. So let's dive in it right now and there we go. So firstly there is the brief contents which is the index of the book. You can see all the chapters mentioned here which is all the chapters of algebra. And on the left side of the page you can see the year of publication mentioned there. So these are all the chapters and I will be showing you the chapter determinants which I am studying right now. So this is the contents page. And then So it's a new chapter you can see determinants. First of all we can see the introduction of the chapter. So the introduction then the theory of the chapter explained very well by the author. Then the sub topics like expansion determinants. So after the theory you can see there mentioned some special points on the side of the page and below that you can see some basic illustrations like illustration 12.1 which can be solved by reading this. Uh, small theory only these are very basic illustrations which can be solved very easily and from here the illustration level goes up as you can see illustration 12.3 then some uh, other theory like Soros uh, rule for expansion and then uh, the theory for that part and illustration 12.5 12.6 now moving ahead we can see some more theory and illustrations given just like before and this book is especially known for the illustrations like the Sengage Mathematics series is known for the illustration like anybody who will recommend you to solve this book will surely tell you to solve all the illustrations by yourself as it improves your thinking capabilities more and more as the illustration given in these books are very special and attain a decent level at the end of the chapter like you can say it goes all the way up to J mains and advanced level at the end of the chapter. Now moving on you can see a new topic starts which is the properties of determinants and you can see the theory is given like the properties of determinants number wise uh, very well explained then the illustrations are given which you can solve after understanding the properties correctly then this is how the chapter uh, moves on like a new subtopic starts like you can see product of the two determinants then some more illustrations good level of questions and this is how the chapter ends at the end. Okay, so here that you can see the chapter ends here, and now uh, we have around 
57 to 60 illustrations now let's move ahead so these are the exercises here again this uh, these questions are of very good level you can see then comes multiple correct answer type then the linked comprehension all the type of questions you see in J advanced are given here then the matrix match type these type of questions are seen in J mains and advanced also and these are very important kind of questions you are seeing here now comes numerical value type questions in which you have to just find out the answer and write it down so it is also there and then some archives you can say PYQs are given here so the total number of questions yeah there is a hell lot of questions given you can say enough for your practice very good amount of questions now answer key is given here this is the answer key of the exercises here also this answer key and then a new chapter start which is matrices now you must be thinking what about the explanation or the solution so the index let's see yes after the last chapter there are solutions to the chapters all the chapters with the solution so let's see F on chapter 12 determinants so uh, you will get the solution of concept application exercises then moving ahead we got all concept application questions now here are the solution of the exercises all the questions are solved in detail you can see how it is solved line by line it is shown the matrix match type the archives solution are also given and then the next chapter comes which is matrices so this was about the algebra book you can see now let me show you the number of chapters here there are total 14 chapters in this book and then solutions so now let's move on to the next book which is the trigonometry one so just like that there are seven chapters here uh, all the chapters this is basic mathematics logarithm and its properties and exponential function and all and uh, first chapter starts from here and the same way which was there in the algebra book first very good theory for explanation and understanding of the chapter graphs very good representation uh, which will help you understand very clearly then starting with very basic illustrations going all the way up to ad, uh, advanced illustrations you can see illustration starts from very basic and goes like uh, to very J advanced type questions here you can see I have done some of the questions so yeah this is also the trigonometry one and total number of chapters are seven then solutions now let's move on to the calculus book now this book is quite heavy and thick as you can see as it has many chapters in it so let's quickly open the book and first of all we will be seeing the index so this book has 10 chapters and after the 10 chapters we have solutions then appendix 1 which is the chapter wise JE main 2023 questions then appendix 2 which has the JE advanced 2022 solved questions now here is the contents page which has the deep introduction of the chapters like subtopics and all and moving on we have the preface page and the new chapter starts which is the relation function chapter 1. Now as all the chapters are written in the same way in all the books, uh, same here like the some basic theory and then basic illustration like uh, illustration 1.1. Now moving ahead we have some theory theory and then uh, illustration 1.2 then some more illustrations like 1.4 1.5 and you covered this chapter in the same way like in all the other books theories and when a topic uh, ends new topic starts like it is given here and at the end of the book you have the solutions and yeah this is how the book is. So now let's move on to the fourth book which is our second last book which is the coordinate geometry one now this book has seven chapters then the solution and appendix one and appendix two then the contents preface and in the same way the chapter starts with theory 
basic illustrations and going all the way up to mains and advanced level problems. So this is the coordinate geometry book and like all the other books we have solutions in the end. Solution of each and every question is, is given in detail so you won't be having any sort of problems while solving this book. And just a small tip that teachers and mentors don't suggest looking into the solutions directly after just giving one try to a question and moving on. They say that you should try the questions on your own because these questions improve your thinking skills and capabilities which you will require in your examination. So it is better to try the illustrations and questions on your own like 3 to 4 times and then if still you are not able to solve it, you can move on and see the solutions which is the correct way and analyze your mistakes afterwards. Now let's move on to the last and the fifth book which is the Vectors and Theory Geometry one. Now you can see that this is a very small book and if you compare it with the Algebra one you can see that it fits right in it. So it's a very small and handy book. Now let's move on and look into it. So this book has four chapters like the solutions and appendix 1, appendix 2. Then moving on the contents and the preface then the chapter which is the first chapter introduction to 3d geometry some very basic concepts like what is the axis and plane now moving on we have again like some theory and illustration 1.1 very basic illustrations some more illustrations like 1.2 1.3 1.5 1.6 uh, you can try these yourself you can see these are very basic illustrations then some new topic like the section formula and like all the books are written in the same way so you can see we have solutions at the end of the book like all the other books have so now moving on to the DPP part now at the beginning of the video I told you that which uh, with each of these books you get DPPs free like DPP booklet now these are all the five DPP booklets you can see now let me show you one by one so first of all we have the algebra DPP booklet now you can see first of all we have the contents page in which you can see we start with the chapter one the set theory so here comes the DPP 1.1 like it has a decent level of questions like you can you have to properly read and understand the chapter after that only you can solve the questions like if you jump directly into the questions you will not be able to solve it these questions are like of good level and moving on the 1.2 and yeah you can solve these dpps daily or as you wish so this is the algebra dpp Now at the end of the DPP booklet you will also get solutions to each and every question of the DPP as you, it will help you to solve each and every question very effectively and with the right method. You can see these are the solutions of all the DPPs like 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Now let's move on to the next DPP booklet which is the calculus one. Now first of all we have the introduction like the contents of all the chapters. Then chapter 1 relation and functions uh, DPP 1.1. Uh, now these questions are, does not start with the very basic level. These are mains and advanced level question already. So you must have practiced the illustration and the exercises of the book and then move on to the DPPs. yeah now again dpp 1.2 1.3 so in the same way all the dpps and at the end of the dpp you have the solutions right there now we have the next dpp booklet right here which is the trigonometry one you can see this is not uh, as thick as the other two dpps this is quite thin and first of all we have the contents then chapter one and DPP 1.1 like all the other DPPs So now moving on next we have the vectors and 3D geometry and the DPP of this book. You can see the DPP booklet is just at the same size of the book like very small and thin. So yeah let's move on. So first of all we have the contents page like 
and again chapter 1 dpp 1.1 like all the other dpps moving on so every chapter has its own dpp and at the end you will be getting solutions in each of the dpps So moving on to the last DPP booklet which is the coordinate geometry one so you can see here we have the DPP booklet and let's just quickly dive in it right now so the contents page then the chapter 1 DPP 1.1 then moving on we have all the other chapters and its DPPs and at the end yeah you know what it is the solutions. So guys, this was all about the Sengage Mathematics J Advanced Book Set. So now let's talk about the pricing. So this book set, you can get it around 3000 to 3500 rupees depending upon where you buy it from. Uh, I am sharing some photos with you of the Amazon Marketplace. It's listed at various prices in it. I have bought it from an offline store. So you can also look around an offline store for it. And maybe you will get a discount over there. Now thank you for being here till the very end of the video and if you found this video helpful please do like this video and subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends who are interested in buying this book set. You can also leave your suggestions for any other video ideas or if you want me to compare this book set to the coaching modules or any other book set. This is it from my side and I will see you again with a new video. Bye bye.